Yehova Svaot Elohim. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Please fill me and lead me and cover me and stir me and speak through me with your Ruach Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness and humility to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Han, behold, nail, behold. Isaiah Yeshiyahu, chapter 20. In the year of Sargon, the king of Ashur sent his commander-in-chief to attack Ashdod. He captured it. It was at this time that Yehovah, speaking through Yeshiyahu, the son of Amot, said, Go and unwind the sackcloth from around your waist, and take your sandals off your feet. So he did it, going about unclothed and barefoot. In time, Yehovah said, Just as my servant Yeshayahu has gone about unclothed and barefoot for three years as a sign and portent against Egypt and Ethiopia, so will the king of Ashur lead away the captives of Egypt and the exiles of Ethiopia, young and old, unclothed and barefoot, with their buttocks exposed to the shame of Egypt. They will be dismayed and ashamed because Ethiopia, their hope, and Egypt, their pride. On that day, the people living along this coast will say, look what happened to the people to whom we fled for help, hoping they would rescue us from the king of Ashur. How will we escape now? How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this very short 20th chapter of Isaiah Yeshiyahu? We can listen to the word of Yehovah spoken through Yeshiyahu found in this book. Do what Yehovah instructs you to do, no matter how crazy it seems. Obey Yehovah. Humble yourself before Yehovah. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can point others to obedience to Yehovah. Bear one another's burdens. We can humble yourself before Yehovah. Do what Yehovah instructs you to do. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. We'll end this Purim night with the Arionic blessing using the name. Yehovah will, bow, Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts. He will guard you with the hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love sustenance, and friendship. You have all lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and set in place all you need to be whole and complete.